Alright, so I feel like the Filofax community, planner community, is just ever-growing on Instagram and now YouTube, so I'm going to continue with it. Um, if this isn't your type of video, that's cool, click out of it. I'll have my motivational stuff up very soon, but I wanted to share with you guys some of my Filofax favorites. So I'm going to talk about like washi tape, my favorite pens to write on washi tape, um, some cool highlighters, and my stickers and sticker organization. So if you want to see all of those things, then keep watching. So probably over a year, maybe two years ago, I featured my Orla Kylie, whatever it's called, case, which went rapid fire, and then literally everyone in the world went out and bought it. It's such an awesome case, though, um, and I still use it. So I'm going to share with you guys what I keep in here. I love planning with these skinny washi tapes. I'll put them in my Erin Condren across the box, and each color can represent something different, and then... Um, it just helps that way if I have to change something, this just peels right off or I can scribble over it and they're just, they make everything stand out. So I love these and I purchased these little keyring fobs at um, my local hardware store. So I could talk to you guys all day about different types of washi tape, but washi tape is pretty this much the same across the board but to put it out there I do love washi tape and I do use washi tape but I'm going to talk to you guys about some of my favorite pens to write on the washi with the first one from um, Sam from Happy Scrappy and this is the Pilot Twin Marker Super Color Marker and it's double sided you have a thick and you have a thin like I said it writes perfectly it's really saturated color and I've had this one for quite some time and it hasn't ran out so that's awesome and it's only a couple bucks. This is the pen sticks and it's an India ink so it's um, very very dark and it's for technical drawing but this is in Austri Austria. Oh it's from Austria. I didn't even know that. It's a company called Alvin and looks like that and it is in 0.7 they also make a 0.5 and I think a 0.3 so I talked about the pilot marker but I found a, another pilot marker and this one is super fine and writes so great I love this again this was only like a dollar so those are definitely my favorite washi tape markers now for writing down notes in my planner I like it to be bold and stick out and I have been using the Kiki K pen they are only like a dollar fifty I want to say but it's just a thin little pen with a nib like this now again you can buy a pen like this at Staples or your drugstore uh, it's just a little felt tip pen but I don't know I like the, the white cake Kiki K pen next thing that I found at the local store was this awesome massive multicolor pen and this was three bucks and it is by the brand Toy Smith so this is like a child's toy but it has awesome colors in it and how many colors are in here? You have a dark blue, a light blue, a green, a neon yellow, an orange, pink, red, brown, black, and a lavender. Pretty sweet. I don't like how highlighters look um, on a planner because it's like so colorful and so bright. And these are the Essenti Soft Highlighters from Monami, another Korean company. And they have a cute little clip on there, so you can clip this onto your planner. But the colors are so pretty. They're pastels. When you order a box, I think it's about $12 to $15 a box, and you get two to three of each color. Um, and the colors are so, so pretty. I love these. Mm. So when I first started decorating my planner, I kept everything in one of these Target $1 um, receipt coupon things, folders, accordions, whatever you want to call them. But it just, I don't know, I couldn't really see everything. I was getting a lot of stickers, and I'm going to be using this now as a weekly dump for Project Life stuff. So, like, ticket stubs, little memorabilia things, um, because currently that's just, like, taking over my desk. So I will still be using these for Project Life. But anyway, I ended up finding these photo albums at my local print shop, and I need to change the covers of them to, like, a cute planner thing. But I bought two of the small ones, like this, and then two of these larger ones. And the reason I did that was because I have different types of stickers. So in this large one, ah, I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, so in the large photo album, I keep my bigger label type stickers that I would use 
for Project Life. Sometimes I put them in my planner, but not as often. Um, so like these kind of stickers or the snap stickers. I just like this because I can actually see everything. It's so much nicer. And then I divided the two smaller ones up by the types of stickers that they are. So <clears throat> in the red or pink one, I have hearts, stars, flowers, animals, fun little graphics, like things that really aren't to help me plan, they're just cute, kind of go in here. So like Disney stuff, all of my kawaii stickers, and then the back is holiday stickers, and then that's it. But in the other one, this is like my main sticker book because it has my Etsy stickers. So these are from uh, Ordinarily Whimsy on Etsy. I have my Alex Studio stickers, I love them. Some Martha Stewart Dewdrops. I forget what these are. They're like a basic sticker. Most of these are Alex Studio. Like all of these. Hold on. And then I have some big, uh, these are from a scrapbook kit I got when I was little. Weather stickers, planning stickers, seasonal. Alex Studio Erin Condren stickers. Um, so I did divide the seasonal like actual planner stickers from Etsy in here. I have these cute little um, four leaf clovers, the makeup ones. If you guys like these planner videos and you want me to keep doing them, um, let me know because I will stop if you don't want me to. But I personally like the planner community a lot. I think that the Reset Girl is uh, doing an amazing job with the Listers Got a List Challenge. I haven't started one. I'll probably do the next one um, because I need to get another Midori notebook. But I wanted to also share a giveaway with you guys that I'm doing on my Hales Health channel with Pacifica Beauty. I am so excited so you guys can check out that video. I will have it here and in the down bar below. But basically, you will be winning all kinds of goodies from Pacifica beauty products, makeup, perfume, wipes, all kinds of stuff. So check that out. I'm also talking about our newest addition to the May Movement project. So excited about this. So this new project with May Movement is all about helping girls who are underprivileged around the world, whether it's in your own community or overseas. We're going to be sending grace packs their way, featuring our new hair ties that we are in collaboration with, with Main Message. I am so excited. So there's more information down below. You can check out our GoFundMe. It's going to be on our Facebook. It's on my Instagram. Um, and then also in the giveaway video on Hales Health. So you guys can check that out. And I hope you guys are enjoying spring so far and be looking forward for summer. I'll talk to you later. Bye.